Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Medici and today I will discuss about uh, some information related to TCS uh, since I got many comments and we do have some perception regarding TCS rehire policy and if you got an offer from TCS whether and if you didn't join whether you will be blacklisted and when and why you should join TCS. So we will discuss on all four topics uh, but before that like i would like to uh, tell you that i have posted a lot of videos regarding companies basically preview companies offer letter few topic uh, certification related to azure or aws you definitely should check it out so one small information i just wanted to give you recently i've seen some of the like you know channels they are copying my stuff and posting their channel and they are, are trying to give me some information so i mean if you see my wipro pc basic preview that i have posted in 2021 just after one month i could see uh, this channel like you know they have copied this space slip from my channel and uh, this is possibly uh, this career and salary and then they have exp explained the same in a wrong way so they don't know the company this this components and what these additional allowances means and why acc ins they don't even know so i mean even for this channel they have a lot of uh, subscriber like 39200 sumit john they have copied my pay slip and like wrongly they have uh, explained everything what is wrong i mean i i i i am sure that these guys are uh, never into it so they are just copying the stuff and posting uh, fabricating things and just on behalf so do, don't believe them let us like you know uh, come back to the topic and if you like this channel just you can go through my pay slip and all other uh, reviews because these are genuine and mostly it belongs to me or it belongs to my friends only so coming coming back to the point so the first point like why and when you should join tcs so uh, the answer is very very simple like i mean uh, not, not of course this is not for the people who are from tier one or tier two colleges i mean they possibly join the product based company but if we co consider the, uh, the the mass engineers uh, tcs accenture cognizant wipro capgemini ibm and then uh, infosys they are the uh, now, now even mike mindtree and few big four they are the mass recruiters so i mean co comparing uh, tcs they are the biggest brand in our country right and they have a lot of varieties of project and work-life balance is okay and the great point of tcs is tcs is almost is everywhere like it may be in your uh, vicinity as well so you can join tcs and you can continue work from your home location itself so that is a wide variety uh, and uh, one thing like that i think like people should join tcs they have on-site a lot of project having uh, easy on-site opportunities so what uh, normally we have a perception in uh, in american mncs us mncs right so like uh, cognizant accent ibm so uh, getting an on-site opportunity is very less because it is quite possible that if there are 10 resources only one resource can go to one side that to like who is very favored to the manager who is working for the long time who has done some exceptional kind of work in his project he's truly critical and possibly he have resigned that time he normally offered uh, on site but in that in the tcs it is not so tcs has a fair opportunity some kind we have seen like you know there is a rotation policy applicable so if you are in uh, on site you need to come back even after one year or two years some other guy will join there so uh, there are a lot of reason and uh, two more thing i would like to emphasize the parks so so his their health insurance scheme and personal accident policy it's great i mean he, none other company has those policies so definitely like comparing all those things you should definitely join tcs now when you should not join tcs question two so um, the problem with tcs is tcs doesn't have rehire policy and neither tcs have very uh, good hike so if you compare uh, some other competitor like cognizant and accenture uh, in fact, in Wipro as well. So you can see the hike is average hike is 8 to 12 uh, percent, where TCS you can see 5 to 6 percent normally. In some project, it varies project to project, it varies based on performance as well. But in general, uh, hike is slightly lower compared to others. So that is one problem. So if you are there for the long time, suppose you joined, you are freshers and you have joined in a ninja profile. After even working for four to five years, you couldn't see your salary reaches to 10 lakhs. It would be somewhere between seven to eight. Uh, where you see the other people who are some other company, they're possibly getting 
closer to 10 lakhs so that is one uh, one problem but anyway you have the digital profile if you are uh, freshers you can join as a ninja and you can qualify uh, to the digital profile which is not very difficult you can crack that exam and suddenly your salary will be almost double but again like uh, if you are a freshers and if you have been experienced of three to four years i don't recommend and if you are from uh, like locations say like bangalore or hyderabad or chennai where we have lot of options so then you should not definitely uh, join tcs you if you don't have other option because once you join tcs say you are there for three or four four years then you leave tcs so tcs doesn't have rehab policy so there is no chance that you come back to see tcs once again if you like that company so just just for safer side if you if you have a like higher experience i think you should consider tcs and or if you are not from like this three, three, three four cities where we have more, more number of options if you are say say from gujarat if from kolkata if you are from say odisha or assam uh, or even from mumbai also that time like you should consider tcs but otherwise maybe you can work for some other company and later if you wish you can join tcs so that is uh, all about why you should not join tcs in very initial days so now tcs rehire policy i mean uh, i think this is clear to everyone tcs don't rehire is existing employee that because they think like you know it is not fair because you can join other company with say 70 percent hike and again come back to tcs with say 30 percent hike but the people who are already working in that company with the same experience level they will earning half because by that time you left tcs and you rejoin tcs you could have gained say 100 percent hike in your current package so that that that's what that parity doesn't consist so that's what tcs doesn't rehire but one good thing that i came to know from one of the tcs hr like he's a regional head of some uh, location so he told like uh, like there is a talk going on or there is a discussion is always going on so it is quite possible that this rehire policy might change in future tcs did change lot of policies uh, that 50 percent consistent marks in some cases it is not applicable now so earlier there is a criteria that you need to have uh, throughout 50 percent in your entire career but in some cases tcs uh, does overlook or does uh, evade, evade this policy that is no longer i mean that not that much strong tcs does prefer with 50 percent but it is not which is uh, truly enforced now similarly they are having uh, discussions uh, of rehire and maybe in future it uh, like lifetime ban can say like you know it may be uh, come down to 10 years or maybe it can be lifted so uh, we need to just uh, look through it what will happen but as of now tcs don't rehire now the fourth question is what will happen if you got an offer and you didn't join tcs so first of all if you uh, if you if you interviewed with tcs and if you are not able to crack the uh, interview then uh, like it's okay like you know in next six months you can appear so there is a six month a uh, cool down period between your first interview and the next interview now what if if you got an offer and if you rejected it still this is fine you can uh, like you know in i begin portal you can appear for the next interview if you didn't accept that offer it after six months now problem comes like once you accepted the offer and if you didn't join tcs that time what will happen like there is many perception that tcs won't ban you or it is nothing like you know after six months you can appear for the interview nothing like that once you receive the offer letter and if you have accepted the offer letter that offer letter will remain exist you know i begin portal it will not be revoked even after six six months or one year or two years the offer letter will still exist and will not be able to uh, like you know uh, apply any of the uh, any of the like you know position from tcs i begin portal because that document and that uh, i begin portal it will be still be there all, all information will be there and everything will be frozen now you can appear tcs interview by some other mean like if somebody contacted you can still give that particular ip number one thing to mention you cannot create multiple ip numbers because they have a primary key of your pan number so if you just put your pan number they will just caught and simply say that you already have ip number so we cannot provide you one more ep number so you can still interview with tcs now the uh, now uh, if you are able to crack the interview now what will happen like you need to uh, give a strong reason i need to basically formally drop a mail to your recruiter and they will ask you reason why you didn't join tcs after accepting the offer so if that reason is valid that will be validated by senior manager senior management basically of tcs 
and if it is valid they think it's valid then uh, possibly they can offer you but with chances are very less like let's be a uh, like you know in negative side like it is chances are maybe 10 to 20 percent but still like you know even if you accept the offer and reject it the same i mean didn't join the tcs still there is a chance that uh, you can get into tcs again so that is all uh, about these four points so i'll i think i should uh, i'll create a few more videos regarding other service based companies uh, like these hidden facts and uh, like stuff so just uh, in comment just let me know what company you just wanted to see in the next video thank you